I'm Lorraine Rutt. I'm a cartographer and a ceramicist. Um, I've made maps from clay for about 25 years and more recently I decided to really kind of hone in on my cartographic skills and make ceramics that were cartographically as correct as I could do them at the scale that I work at. I have always loved making things and I just really responded to clay in a way, I just love the, the tactile quality of the medium but also porcelain in particular you can capture the tiniest tiniest bits of detail and as a, as a with a cartographic background um, map making is all about using the tiniest of marks to represent the grandest of places or the tiniest of details and so for me the the marriage of kind of porcelain and mapping just seemed to be a perfect link the Globes that I make, there's been a lot of work behind making um, each individual one. The challenge of making a sphere in ceramic is quite tricky uh, and they're fired to, you know, have to fire them within a couple of degrees centigrade, otherwise they melt and collapse or they're not vitrified. So when I was developing these, I decided to just select a few different styles initially and make them as an open edition. Every single one is made by hand and even two in the same edition will be different because every time I paint there's very slight differences and I decide to kind of make marks in different ways as well. Um, this, this one, this one's called Solid Ground and it's inspired, it's an homage to Josiah Wedgwood who was just such an innovator uh, and obviously very collectible. Um, but he invented so much, he was just such a brilliant man and a brilliant exporter of British goods, British made goods. And I just quite like to, to kind of do, make a little homage to, to him with these pieces. So in addition to the sort of editions that I do, I also make bespoke globes, which I call Small World. And it's a means of recording individual voyages around the world. This little one was made for my niece who travelled the world with her boyfriend who proposed to her on that journey. And when they were married last year, they um, had a theme of around the world voyage. So it was just so fitting to do the first one for them. And it basically, it marks, there's an arc scribed for each of their kind of major de routes and destinations. And I've inscribed it with the name and date of their wedding. I have made globes at a larger size for, for many years, but I saw a pocket globe in, well, I've seen them in a few places in magazines and everything else, but I, I had the amazing opportunity to hold uh, an 18th century pocket globe and the wonder of kind of clicking open this case and revealing this tiny world inside was just so inspiring. It just, I, just made me want to think about how I could make small globes as accurately as possible. Um, to help us sort of look back at how we need to nurture our precious little planet. We now have the benefit of the viewpoint from the International Space Station and various space missions looking back at our planet, which is what you know didn't exist sort of 250 years ago when the first pocket globes were being made. Um, the uh, Apollo 17 mission took a photograph that had the earth rising above the moon, the lunar surface. And it was the first time humans had seen this amazing view of our planet and realized how beautiful it was, but also how tiny it was in perspective of the universe. And that's kind of been, for me, has been the motivation behind making the globes at the scale that I'm making them of. It's, it's a precious thing that we have and it's a tiny dot in the universe. Um, and I'm just hoping they serve as little reminders that we need to look after and nurture these precious resources that we have. <laughs>